So today I'm going to show you some of the projects that I have finished in this week. Um, I have not had um, a lot of time as usual to do tons of projects that I want to do, but here I'm going to show you a few of what I have finished this week. Um, so the first one is, um, I, I showed you last week, um, I mean, not last week, I showed you on episode 15 of Show and Tell this hat right here that I did the pattern wrong because I did it continuously in the circular needles. So I made this cowl right here for it. Um, uh, I ran out of the acrylic. Um, I don't know if you could tell the color changes. Here is the acrylic yarn and here is uh, Lion Brands Wools. I don't know the name of it, but I know it's Lion Brand and it is wool blend in this um, here part. This one is a simple, the simple or single man cowl, something like that. And it has like this pretty triangles. I don't know if you can see them because my camera is a pain in the butt and it does a little zoom. So. So I did have a lot of trouble because I don't know what's wrong with me now that I cannot count for the to save my life. I lose track of my counting. I have to keep a sticky note, a pad like right there and a sticky note page and keep moving it so I can count and count and know because my right here, I messed it up really bad in this triangle right here really bad like it went to the other side i missed one of them and but the other ones were pretty good i had to rip it out a few times because i was i kept messing it up it's not uh that stretchy um it barely fit over my head but it's okay it's pretty but it's not a pattern or design i would do again because you have to be really concentrated um, to do it and I am always um, in outer space um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a person I can't concentrate too much on stuff so it came out pretty nice for my grade of concentration on items and stuff like that but you can see and it matches pretty nice with the gray hair under the hat and it has um, it's not the same because this one is um, a knit, knit, knit stitch is it no garter stitch this is a garter stitch and this one is a moss stitch um, pattern and it has some knit, stocking knit stitches um, in the triangle um, patterns here but it, it is okay I think it matches pretty nice and that's why I picked it out for this hat in particular um, so the other um, hat that I finished it's a it well that one is a cowl and this one is a hat um this one is the i forget the name of it it's the hudson hudson tooth um hat this one is the male hat it's on uh yarnspirations.com i don't know but it looks really big and it's for my brother i have not washed it that that is why like it's so stiff um, so this hat you started um, in the bottom with the brim it's a um, single crochet brim you can't see it very well because it's black and then you do um, the pattern here of the Hudson tooth um, with the one single one double one single and then you turn it you turn it you turn the chain and you do it on the inside and then you turn it again and you change colors and you do it on the other side so it's not in the round as you had to go back and forward back and forward and then you do the top of the hat right here you can see it's a little wavy and if I do put it on my white man mannequin head here that's going to focus now a little bit my camera does a little bit of focus it covers his whole face so I think 
If my brother wants to use it, he can use it as a slouchy kind of beanie thing. But it doesn't look as pretty. Or, let me fix this right here. Or he can put the brim up. And that is, I think, the look that... It was a little crooked. I think that's the look that it's supposed to look like. It looks really nice. Um, you can change in the pattern says to put another color up here. Um, I did not do that because my brother is very picky about his hats. So I just did black. Keep it simple black and white. Just. Um, I think this yarn, I had scraps of it, but I think it's Lion Brand, um, not Lion Brand, um, Red Heart Super Saver, and the other one is, um, the Michaels, um, Craft Smart yarn that I had in white. Um, not my favorite yarn to work with, again, but it's what I had, and I have tons of scraps of that yarn in red and white, so I am trying to work with what I have. So this is another project that I finished. Um, so, um, how has my um, shrug been coming along? I have to say that I have to rip out two rows because in one of the corners, I forgot to put two counts of three double crochets and separated by two chains. And let me see if I can find it. It's in one of the corners uh, right here. You may not see it, but it is right here, right here, right here, right here, let me see, there. It, I did just three double crochets, so I have to rip it out, I have to rip out, I can say three, almost three rows, and then do three rows again and add at least one more row, but it's coming along um, pretty okay. I hope, hope, hope to finish it this year for at least in July or something. Um, I can wear it. I really don't mind. Um, but I'm working on it. I have not worked on it consistently as I wanted to. Sorry, my belly is rumbling. Um, consistently as I wanted to. But every time I get a chance, I work on it. So yesterday was all. I didn't do any projects or anything because I wanted to work just on this. And then I noticed I messed up and I keep going, but it doesn't look as right. The corners, it's kind of ruffling up and I don't like that. Um, so I'm going to do that again. And sorry for the background noise again. So I am going to show you a quick tip that I saw a video in Portuguese and I just wanted to try it myself. So here we go. Hi guys, quick tip. Um, so I saw this video that they use a steel hook and a pen to make a handle for the steel hook. The lady is in Portuguese. The lady doesn't say what size it is or anything. This one is a 1.50 millimeter or 8 size hook. It's a boy one that I have is the only one I have without a handle so I tried it with this pen here she shows something kind of like this pen um, you can see here uh, the spaces inside my camera doesn't have zoom so I'm sorry for that and then she doesn't say exactly what size of bead it is but this one is a four millimeter bead no a five a five millimeter bead this one is a five millimeter bead here five millimeter and I'm gonna show you what she did so she took the pen out and this one you can't take the spring out you can't and then she placed the bead inside here but hers and then she puts this the hook in And that's it. And the bead prevents you from clicking it. 
you see it can't move if you don't put the bead it's going to move the hook it's going to move when you're crocheting with it so this way as you can see the background is kind of similar color as the hook this way it doesn't move it doesn't click it doesn't do anything and I think uh, well I grab mine as a like this to crochet so it's pretty comfy this way um, yeah and I think all you need when you're crocheting with a hook is like this part hers goes a little bit farther uh, farther out but I guess it's the hook size is a smaller size because that's how how much it can get out of the tip of the pen let's try it with the other pen I have here take the bead out I'm gonna put this to the side I have never opened this one, so I don't know how it opens up. Okay, this one opens to the top. Uh, it has a tube here. I don't know if it opens somewhere else. No, just there. Okay, let's put the bead in, and it doesn't go in. How would I open this? To put the bead in. Oh, I guess. If you have something like this, and it has to be a bead this big, so it doesn't, because I tried it with a smaller bead, like a 3mm bead, and no, a 4mm bead, and it doesn't work at all. So it, it still is able to click the button, so you have to prevent that. So this one is a no, a no pen, so if you don't have one that opens in the middle part, or it comes undone almost fully it's not worth it it's not going to work as you can see it didn't work on this one and if you have one like this it will work even if the spring doesn't come out because once you put the bead in it's not going to click so and that's a quick tip for you and and then um I know I say like uh, you can use it um, for any hook, but my hook I think it was too big um, for the whole of the pen, and it was um, coming out um, not a lot. Like the tip was too short to crochet with; it would be very uncomfortable. So it would have to be a thinner hook than the 1.5 that I have, and I think that's the smallest one. I think I don't know you, you can correct me on that but that at least that's the one I had without any um, plastic hooks on it plastic grips that I already bought um, like this one this is what I mean um, I have this one it's a 1.5 um, but millimeters but it has a plastic hook on it already see plastic handle so that that's all I'm sorry for the noise and so this is the hook that I showed you in the video I decided to sorry my tummy's rumbling again um, I decided to um, make a polymer clay hook I don't know the name of the hooks that have this kind of handle I'm sorry I will research it and Put it down here I know they're wooden I know they're wooden and they're pretty smancy and they're pretty expensive too so I saw somebody on the crochet crowd do a hook kind of like this and this was it's really thin you know it's a a stainless steel hook so it's really thin the handle so I was I decided to make a handle for myself it's not the prettiest colors because it's it was scrap clay I had but it looks okay, I think, on my um, behalf for being my first try of making a fancy, smancy um, hook grip. But it looks pretty nice and uh, and it's pretty comfortable, I can say. Um, this kind of shape, it's pretty comfortable in my fingers. And I like, I, I was doing um, the square with this one, it's a 1.5, and this one is a 1.52. And millimeters and uh, I can say this one is more comfortable in my hands in my grip so I like this one more so I might do more handles like this 
for my regular um um what is it called? I forget. Aluminum hooks and you might see more of these coming along and you can see shape. It's really nice. I think for my first try it's really nice. I had to bake it like this standing up because I didn't want it to ruin the shape. But it feels really comfortable in my hands. I made them a little bit too long so I had to shave it up a little bit here with um, a knife. With my sacto knife. Shave it a little bit off. But it is okay in my hands. It feels really nice. So the other thing I have to show you, I have something, I have a cast on, and here's what I have a bit, and I have to rip it out because I missed one. I it, It's in a circular needle, but it's not connected because I don't have flat needles, so I do that on my circular. And I have to rip it out because I missed one when I cast it on, so. And this pattern is, I'm going to show you here. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. It's called Hannah. That's how it's called, Hannah. So, as you can see here, that's how it's supposed to look, look like. It's a hat that you can take your ponytail out. It has two buttons in the back. And it's really nice because you just take the buttons out and just pull the hat forward or pull it up. And it won't mess up your hair and you won't have puffy hair after you take off your hat and it's for my mom um, I'm making this one for my mom in gray and hot pink um, red heart with love um, and this one is red heart but it's just regular um, super saver in the color gray heather um, and I'm using a six point uh, millimeter six millimeter hook um, <laughs> your hook needles sorry for that so I am starting um, on that and I have to frog it so because I missed one so it's gonna be too small but I think it's gonna come out pretty nice so maybe next next week not the next week the other week um, I'm going to show you that hat finish hopefully I hope so I don't have to frog it again so remember this yarn that I bought like an episode three or four of show and tell that I bought it for seven dollars I am thinking of making a shawl with it because it's so pretty and I have so much of it um, I would like to make a big shawl just to wear it as a scarf because I'm not a shawl person or maybe I can use it who knows I, I might use it as a shawl um, but I really want to make a shawl with it because it's really pretty and I think a shawl would um, show it better. And it's wool, so that's that. So I would like you to recommend me a pattern for a shawl. Um, I am going to get some knitting needles. That is not going to be a soon project because I don't have the needles for it. Or the cable length, I mean, for it because my needles are all 16 inches. They're hat needles. But for my birthday, I'm going to get some Knitter's Pride knitting needles, the small ones for hats. But I'm thinking of buying longer cables because you still can use them for bigger projects. Longer cables for them. And just recommend me what size is best for a shawl and recommend me a pattern. That's all I'm asking for you guys, really. I need help with that. Um, what else? Well... I'm planning on going today to to Joanne's and buying some fabric so I can make myself um, some project bags. But I want to find one that has yarn on it um, because all I, I have this cupcake one that I've showed you. I have the dog one. I have a purple one that I that's the that's the one I had from the beginning and the only one I had. But now I want to make one with yarn. And I saw one with a zipper and it had like a hole, but I don't know, that's kind of like for short projects. And because then how are you going to put the yarn in the bag in your project again? Do you have to snip it off and put it? I don't know. I understand that one. So I'm not making that one. Um, I just like this one. I saw the one with the zippers, but I'm not really good with 
um, putting zippers on. I'm talking to you who gave me. Um, I think it's BJ. Uh, B. I'll put your name here. I forget your name. I'm so sorry. You always help me out so much. Um, I am really bad putting zippers on, so I prefer just the pulls on the bags because I'm a failure at putting zippers on bags. So I know that's going to go really horrible, and I don't want to try it because I, I, have, I have put zippers on clothing and a lot of things, and I'm not good at it. So... I'm going to try and I'm going to show you here. Sorry for the bad noise. I'm going to do it as slowly as possible to keep the noise, the bag of the noise. I'm going to try to put the next ball of yarn on this blanket here. Um, I hope to show you next week a, a, rows, a few rows more and show you a few more scarves and hats. And if you um, have any, I'm gonna put this to the side, sorry for that. If you have really any suggestion for a shawl for me and what size of cables do I need for a shawl. And I was thinking of, I don't know, buying some sock yarn, but I have a cotton-ish yarn. It's a, a size um, one, I believe, yarn. It's cotton. I don't know. Can you knit socks with cotton? Um, cotton yarn? It's a cotton blend yarn. I don't know. I know cotton, socks are made usually of cotton, but can you knit one out of cotton? Because I have a bunch of it and I am more accessible to find more of that so I can start knitting some socks and what kind of cables do I need length of it? Um, to knit some socks or should I knit them in double double pointed needles in the pants because I do have double pointed needles and I wouldn't mind at all um, knitting some socks and double pointed needles um, what else oh I have a good hair day today a pretty reasonable good hair day uh, <laughs> but uh, my job has been you know, you're the usual, a little hectic. Um, I have been working all week. Today is the day I have free, and I'm making a video for you so you can see my projects. And I don't know. Uh, you can hear all the noises because my husband is talking with his sister, and they're talking with the dad on the phone, and uh, there's a lot of rumbling in the back. Um, so excuse my noises. Um, what else? I am going to try to look again the video if you remember that I made a whole owl um, bathroom set I'm going to try to look up that video again and do an English version of that bathroom set because I know some people would like um, to have patterns and tutorials of it I I can't tell you that it's going to be all the all the pieces the same color because I'm going to use all the cotton I have there to make the video for you guys but I'm going to try to just translate and write it down and then make a video um, after I have it all done and ready in my written form and I know I'm not gonna mess up when I'm recording so I have a new um, tripod that I got at the thrift store. I designed a crazy thing to put my camera on and it cost me just $2.99 and it was 50% off, so better even. <laughs> but um, with this one, um, I can record more videos standing up and put the camera a little bit lower, um, look at my hands better or even look at the project. And the small one that I have, you can see my hands that I used on the video that I showed you. Um, so I think that is all. I hope to, I, I only have that one hat um, for next week. Um, not next week, the other week above next week. And, but I hope to, I have a ton of hats that I have to make and that I want to make in my library and even in my projects so i hopefully hopefully hope that i can make some of my hats for 
start making them this week and next week and keep working them so when I show you a video I have a few things to show you more than what I did today um what was the other thing I was going to tell you mm. I always forget um yeah um just if you are looking for me and if you want to share anything with me you can go to my facebook page you can share with me there um you can go to my ravelry which i have two patterns that are free i fixed one of them that it was the v stitch hat the simple v stitch the simple adult v stitch hat that i fixed it had a few glitches it's already fixed so you can try it out I have the Lone Owl hat. It's totally free. Um, you can go to my Ravelry. The links are going to be down below on here. You can go to Instagram well, where I put my pictures of um, some projects that I have started or even the finished products. So you can see things before I even show them here on the video. So that is all for you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.